Chinese are in charge. They're really ticked off, we are finding out, because this is not done. And Mr. Dunford has more or less been told, I guess I can tell this, to get it done or else. They're going to go around this period. They're uh, tired of the uh, U.S., I think, still making maybe some demands of Iraq that they shouldn't be. Chris trying to hold this thing up. We know it's been stopped a couple times by the U.S. We don't know who exactly, but Chinese are tired of it. And they said, look, either you get it done by, I think, today or tomorrow, or they're going to take over and go around us and do what they got to do. Um, and um, that, that's about all I can say, I guess, about that. We do know the PPs have not gone out yet. We thought they were going out last night. They're waiting to go out. And matter of fact, we had a person on our call explaining everything that she knew about them. She's been in them since the early 1990s, and we don't agree with everything that she said, so I won't even get into that because um, all we know is they're going out, and um, people should be ready, I guess, to receive them when they do. There's always a question, can the RV happen or be put out before the PPs go out? <laughs> That's, uh, we're not sure. Um, they say they would give them 48 hours from the time the prosperity package is start to go out. They get 48 hours to get 70% of them delivered. And then uh, then we can go to the banks and the exchange centers. But we're not sure it's going to work that way because if they've not been gone out yet, and we're told we could very well be in exchange centers tomorrow and Wednesday at the latest. TRNs are live. Um, the rate still has to be set. We, I think we heard China may be setting a rate on that, as a matter of fact. Um, um, John, you're listening, so correct me if I'm, because you heard all this today, too. Tell me if I'm uh, got anything wrong here. If you want to unmute yourself, and his name is John, by the way. Um, and um, I'm just looking at some of my notes, see what I can tell you. But Jim, Mark, don't while you're looking, it, Jim, Mark, while you're looking, can, can you uh, verify this idle rumor, okay, or verify or discredit it, that Dunford was on his way somewhere? maybe Thursday or Friday, and he switched cars in his motorcade, and the car that he was supposed to be riding in was blown up. Do you know if that's, that's true? Correct. That's correct. Yeah, and he, they, the bad guys are the ones that got killed, I think, for the most part, and they tried it again. We understand a second time, a single shooter, then he got killed too, I believe, and didn't succeed. And Judge Roberts' life was tried last week, and they're claiming Scalia was had a poison dart shot in his heart, and that would cause his heart attack. So I don't know whether that's true or not, but, I mean, that's just stuff going around out there, uh, which I'm sure but, you already but you know. Do, but you do know that you, you, you're very pretty sure about Dunford and the, the yeah. car blow on up and everything. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, okay, we heard that you. too. Yep. But he's okay. He went overseas and got signatures on the uh, peace deals, and he came back last evening sometime and um, told everybody, get this thing done or else, as we understand. And he's got a crew of people working on this to get it done. We know the Admiral signed everything he's supposed to, and all the SKRs supposedly are being paid today, and we're next. And uh, public will go a week uh, we understand a week from tomorrow, as long as we exchange, it's about a week later. Um, and um, that's pretty much, I think, where it, um, but China can crash the whole thing if they want to and go around us and do it. And they're really, really ticked off now, we understand. They're not going to put up with it any longer. They, they're just tired of it and want us to get this thing done. And so that's pretty much, I think, all that we heard um as far as uh, anything goes that I can, uh, John, did I tell him anything wrong that you heard differently? I'm looking at my notes. No, sir. Sound good. Pretty good. There's Pretty good. details that you left out, but it's, uh, there's a reason that that's left out. In well, yeah, I don't. We don't give a lot of. We get a lot of details that we just don't want to get out, really. But except that. Um, the U.S. was trying to require Iraq to jump through a bunch more hoops before this goes, and Chinese said, that's it, no more hoops, no nothing, period. Get it done, and uh, or, else, or else, you know. So that's that's about it. I mean, uh, other than uh, everybody just chomping into bits to uh, supposed to be, Dunford said, I don't know, he said 40,000 
banks and exchange mm-hmm. centers will be open today. All together, all the banks and all the exchange centers. I know Bruce had 5,500 plus exchange centers, and the rest were banks. He had about 18,000 banks, and but Mr. Dumford has jumped that up. So I don't know which figures are correct. There's plenty, that's for sure. Nobody should lack for a place to go do their exchange. Uh, that's for sure. So well, anything else, John, that you've heard or can think of that we could pass along that wouldn't jeopardize anything? I don't think so. No. Okay. Thank you.